Hey guys, I'm Summer Dawn, and today's practice is for those of you who want a whole body stretch but only have 10 minutes to do it. So let's get started. Take the feet about hips distance apart and then interlace the hands behind the back. If you don't have an interlace, you can always just use a strap and pull on that. From here, bend the knees, press the palms together, roll the shoulders back and arch the back chest forward. Inhale here. Exhale, fold your belly over your thighs, bending your knees as much as you need to here, and then let the arms fall behind the head as far as they can. Stay here, take a deep inhale. Exhale, try and straighten the legs a little bit more. From here, press into the feet, inhale, rising back up, slight bend at the knee. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Again, bending the knees as much as you need to, but maybe straightening the legs a little bit more than you did last time. Deep inhale. Exhale, head drops further, straighten the legs a little bit more. Last one, inhale, rising back up. Keep the interlace. Exhale, fold the belly over the thighs, bending the knees, arms fall behind you, and then straighten the legs as much as you can. Inhale here, exhale, take the hands down towards the floor. Feet can widen just a little bit and just grab opposite elbows. I like to take my hands in my elbow pockets here and just sway side to side. Again, the knees can be slightly bent here as you sway side to side, nodding the head yes and shaking the head no. From here, bend the knees as much as you need to to get the palms down on the floor, and you'll walk the feet out nice and wide. You want your feet wide enough so that you can put the hands on the floor, or you can grab blocks to bring the floor up to you. From here, we'll gently bend the left knee, lean over to the left, feeling a stretch in our inner thigh here. And then we'll straighten the left leg, bend the right. Good. From here, walk the hands all the way over to the right and then pivot the feet to face all the way straight to the back of the mat. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. And then from here, we'll reach the arms up overhead in a low lunge. From here, lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor and pull your belly in. Slowly begin to lean into the front foot. And then from here, arms will go behind you and you'll grab opposite elbows if you can here. If that's not an option, press the knuckles together behind you. And then you'll roll your shoulders back, have a big chest. One more inhale here. And exhale, release the arms, take them down alongside the foot and walk the right foot over towards the left and drop the right knee down to the floor. Keep the foot flexed to protect the knee and then scoop the left leg back so you're in pigeon pose. The shin might be parallel to the front of the mat or your heel might be a little bit closer to your pelvis, that's totally fine. And we'll go ahead and fold here for several rounds of breath, either coming to the forearms or reaching it all the way out. Deep inhales and exhales. Good, from here, walk the hands back in towards the shin, press into the floor, move to the back knee, and then walk that right foot back out into that lunge position. From here, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, and we move back into that wide-legged forward fold with all the toes facing forward. Again, you can use blocks or books to move the floor up to you or widen your stance to get the hands firmly planted. From here, right hand plants in front of your gaze, and then you inhale, reach the left arm up, twisting here. So try and twist from your belly button, not from your hips. Good. Take the left hand down, replace it where the right is, and then reach the right arm up. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand comes down to the floor. 
Slowly bend into the left knee, walk the hands over towards the left and pivot the feet to face the front of the mat. From here, you'll reach the arms up. And again, on this side, we lengthen tailbone down towards the floor, pulling the belly in, reach the arms up and begin to lean forward. Feeling the stretch here in the quadricep and the hip flexor. As you're ready, you'll take the arms behind you, either taking the knuckles together behind the back or reaching hands for opposite elbows. And try and have the opposite hand on top this time, if you remember what you did on the other side. Roll the shoulders back, big chest, and again, continue to lean forward here. Deep breath. Take one more round of breath here. Good. Release the arms down towards the foot and walk the left foot over to the right side of the mat and take the shin down to the floor. From here, scoot the right leg back a little bit further and untuck the toes. And again, you keep the left foot flexed and the shin can be close to parallel to the top of the mat or you can bring the heel a little bit closer to your pelvis, but keep the foot engaged. And then from here, you can stay sitting up on the forearms or reach it all the way out and relax down while still actively keeping the foot or pressing the toes into the floor. Good. From here, slowly walk the hands back towards the shin. We'll press to the back knee and then we'll just untuck that left leg so that we're on hands and knees. From here, take the big toes together and the knees go out wide and then you'll set your hips back towards your heels. Reach the arms out in front of you for extended child's pose. So feel the length in the spine, let the forehead rest on the floor. And as you're here, press the right palm down and then thread the left arm underneath the right and drop the shoulder, drop your forehead or your temple down to the floor and relax. And then we switch. So reach the left arm out, thread the right arm underneath the left, drop the shoulder, drop the head, relax. Good. Press into the left hand. Reach the right arm out one more time. We'll slowly walk the hands out. Come down onto your belly. Reach the arms down behind you. And then from here, we'll just take a cobra pose for the lower back. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Hug the elbows together. Roll the shoulders back. Peel the chest up. And we'll just engage the upper back here, feeling a stretch through the front body for three rounds of breath. You can press the hands into the floor a little bit more, coming up as high as you want, maybe straightening the arms. Shoulders are away from the ears though. Good, slowly exhale, coming down, flip over onto your back. And from here, you'll just take the feet out wide 
arms out wide, and then windshield wiper the knees side to side a few times. And then we'll hug the knees into the chest. Do a few circles going to the left. And then a few circles towards the right. Rock front to back, coming up a little higher each time until you can come to a seat and you have completed your 10 minute yoga practice. See you guys next time. Namaste.